Hello all, welcome to part 28 of API testing training series. In this session, I am going to explain about VPN connection, certificates, and proxy setting changes that we have to do in Postman tool for performing the API testing. So let's get started. In real time, we'll not be having the APIs that are given for testing as open source APIs, okay? In order to make that connection between the client and server, we need to do some configurations, like we have to first have a VPN, okay? Because all the APIs that we are going to test as part of the real-time projects are not going to be open source like request.in, okay? Request.in is something which is provided openly for us, okay? So you don't have to do any certificates or you don't have to establish a VPN connection or you don't have to uh, uh, do some proxy setting changes in your uh, tools, okay? You see, whenever I demonstrated uh, this APS from this request.in in the previous sessions, if you remember, I didn't do any VPN connection. I didn't set up any VPN connection. Neither I added any certificates to my Postman tool so that the client-server communication may happen in the Postman tool. Okay, I didn't do that so far. And also I didn't do any proxy setting changes where I didn't provide the IP address of the server or port number of the server or uh, authentication details like username and password of the server. I didn't provide anything, but still I'm able to use any of these APIs that are provided at this request.in because all these are open source APIs which are openly available. You don't need to do any VPN connection or you don't have to add any cert uh, certificates to do this to make this uh, request and response to happen or you don't have to change any proxy settings. But in real-time projects, in real-time projects, your applications will not be like this open source API provide and, and providing applications like request.in. Rather, you must do this VPN, okay? We have to make sure that in order to perform this API testing in the Postman tool, uh, for this client-server communication to happen for performing this API testing in this Postman tool, we need to make sure as a predict side whether the VPN, virtual private network, VPN stands for virtual private network is connected, okay? You will not be able to do this uh, with the open IP address and all, okay? A virtual private network is required. So the client will be providing you the things that are required for you to set up this VPN, okay? Uh, the software you have to install and you have to connect to that particular private ne network given by the client, then only you can perform the API testing. After this VPN is connected, then, we may have to add a certificate, guys, okay? In Postman tool, we have to add a certificate. How to add a certificate in Postman tool? This happens in real time, guys, okay? You may come across these cases in real time where you may have to uh, connect to a VPN before performing the API testing. You may have to add a certificate. How to add a certificate? Open the Postman tool. This is the Postman tool, guys, and uh, click on the settings icon. Here again, you will get settings option. Just select that settings option. Here, there is a tab known as certificate. Select that certificate tab. Either you have to add client certificate or CA certificate, okay? Uh, if uh, if client certificates are provided, click on add, add client certificate. Most of the cases, CRT file will be provided. In less cases, key file or PF, PFX file will be provided, okay? In case of normal certificates, that is client certificates. Mm, if client certificate is not provided, instead CA certificate is provided, then you have to add this PEM file, okay? So just select this option and uh, browse the PEM file provided to you, okay? Uh, so that certificate will be added. So I'm just saying that uh, these things will be coming to use, okay, these settings will be coming to use in real-time projects, guys, not uh, with open source APIs like uh, request.in or whatever it is. So in real-time projects, whenever you're going to work, you may have to add this certificate, okay? Either client certificate or uh, CA certificates will be provided. And in some cases, you will get a proxy, guys. You have to do the proxy settings, okay? Uh, so proxy server settings you have to add. For that to happen, just scroll down a bit under the, select the proxy and scroll down a bit, okay? And uh, add a custom proxy configuration you just select. By default, HTTP and HTTPS are selected. Most of the applications will have these both protocols. In some cases, only HTTPS may be there. You have to manually uncheck this HTTP, okay? Uh, in some cases, uh, most of the 90% of the applications will have both HTTP and HTTPS supported, protocol supported. So you may have to select both but you cannot uncheck both guys, okay? At least one should be selected, either both or only HTTPS based on your application, okay? For now, I'm just putting both here. And here you need to provide the IP address of the server, okay? IP address of the proxy server. 
so 127 something i am giving a 0 0.1.0 or whatever it is okay and here you have to give the port number i'm just uh, giving a, a random number okay 127.0.0.1 okay so like this you can give or you can give local host if the server is in your own local machine you can give local host or ip address of the server of the server and here you have to give the port number of that uh, uh, service running on the server okay and uh, and also you have to provide the username and password in order to provide the username and password you have to enable this uh, proxy authentication and here you have to provide the username and password okay let's say admin 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 some password okay like this you have to do these settings in real time guys uh, i don't have a real time project with me okay so i cannot show you uh, in real time like uh, with the help of certificates and proxy and vpn only how you are able to work this you have to experience uh, in real time uh, when you are re uh, working in some projects in your company okay for now i am checking that but you got the knowledge right this is enough okay so you may have to add the certificates and proxy and you have to connect to the vpn okay so you may not be able to work with the normal internet connection you have to connect to the vpn uh, so the client will be giving you the detailed instructions on how to connect to the vpn and uh, okay and uh, based on the certificate type, you have to come to the postman tool and add the required certificate and add the proxy, custom proxy configuration here. Okay. For now, I'm just uh, not doing any changes here. Fine. So these are the things needed, guys. Okay. In real time. Not now. In real time. Okay. So we have to add a certificate. I showed you the option to add a certificate or we uh, or we, uh, we have to use proxy server settings. Uh, for that also, I showed you in postman how to add the proxy server settings. Okay. Uh, for this adding certificate and proxy server setting before that you have to make sure that you are connected to the vpn then only this kind of stuff will work and the client server communication will happen over uh, client will uh, postman will be your client at that time and server will be the uh, server that you are communicating with okay because not all apis are open source like request.in so your real time projects will not be open source apis so you have to do this vpn connection and all those stuff in postman tool so hope guys you understood how to practically add the certificates and proxy settings in postman tool and what is the importance of the vpn connection okay for performing the api testing in real time projects so that's all for this session in the next session i am going to cover another api testing concept for you till then see you bye bye